Let's start with a quick question before we jump into those red flags that this video is about. Sudden severe headache. A patient develops sudden severe headache on a pain scale of 10 out of 10. Their blood pressure is 150 over 58. What would be the intervention below that would be done first? A. Administer the PRN hydralazine. B. Call the on-call provider for a stat CT of the head. C. Administer acetaminophen. Or D. Call the on-call for a stat head MRI. What's your answer? If you answered B, call the on-call provider for a stat CT of the head, you are correct. Now, if you've ever had a headache before, which the majority of us, I would say, have had headaches before, you know how frustrating they can be. There's lots of different causes for headaches, some a lot more serious than others, obviously. But some people live with chronic migraines, and that can be very frustrating. But there are also emergent, um, emergent causes for headaches, and those are some of the ones that, for NCLEX specifically, that you'll need to make sure to be able to spot out. It's important to know the red flags of headaches, and we'll go over some of these. One of the first red flags is a 10 out of 10 severe headache. This is super important to remember. A lot of times what we'll call these sudden severe striking headaches are thunderclap headaches. Yes, I said thunderclap, not thundercap. Um, these thunderclap headaches, they're usually, they strike very severely, suddenly, and they usually peak in about 60 seconds. Sometimes they can cause other things like altered mental status, um, fever, seizures, nausea, vomiting, um, or I should say, they cause. They could be accompanied by these things. And there's diff some different causes that are important to go over. Some of the causes, one you see here, subarachnoid hemorrhage, basically bleeding in the brain. It can be a rupture in the blood vessel in the brain, in other words, a rupture of the aneurysm, which is very scary. It's usually due to a weakened blood vessel that can actually burst and bleed um, at any time. Or if there's a tear in the line in the artery, like carotid artery dissection, all these things are very scary. Also leaking the cerebral spinal fluid. Um, cerebral spinal fluid is a clear fluid that it basically surrounds the brain and the uh, spinal cord and acts as a cushion or a shock absorber for the brain and the spinal cord. Any kind of tear or hole um, can cause a leak. Usually with this type of headache, um, it's a lot of times more positional and it may feel worse when the person is sitting upright. And you can see some of the other causes here down the list, um, like uh, bleeding in the pituitary gland, blood clots in the brain, hypertensive crisis, um, any kind of infection like meningitis, encephalitis, or, and or ischemic stroke. So definitely these are some causes of the thunderclap headache. You can see why it's so important to pay attention to a sudden severe headache, because these all can be life-threatening. Number two red flag is confusion. Now, when you think of confusion with a severe headache, you think of things like strokes. Now, obviously, you would look for other signs like facial droops, slurred speech, any kind of unilateral weakness, or any generalized weakness, any kind of neurological changes in the person um, if they're having difficulty swallowing. Um, you'd also want to look for any kind of speech changes or ask them about blurred vision, ask them where they are, all of those kind of details. Red flag number three. You want to ask the patient if they've had any recent trauma. And obviously, some people you'll be able to obviously see if they had trauma, especially if they came in and they just had a motor vehicle accident or they had a fall. Uh, recent trauma, obviously, you're worried about things like concussions. You're worried about, um, you're also worried about things like subdural hematomas, uh, aneurysm, things like that. One of the things that you're, you'd be concerned about specifically for <clears throat> an individual who has a headache who is over the age of 50 is something called temporal arteritis. Now this is a condition basically where um, the temporal artery or the one of the arteries that supply the head and the brain becomes damaged or inflamed. Now this is important to be able to detect. Usually we do um, some different things. We get a sed rate um, and then also to diagnose, you actually need a, a temporal artery biopsy. It's most common over the age of 50. 
These individuals may also complain of scalp tenderness, they may complain of jaw pain, they may complain of any kind of vision change. And the fifth red flag, these signs and symptoms here, when you combine these together, your main concern is meningitis, specifically bacterial meningitis. It is a life-threatening inflammation of the meninges, um, which is caused by bacteria, basically. And they, these individuals need to have a spinal tap, and they also need to be placed on antibiotics immediately. This is definitely life-threatening and can cause a lot of issues, a lot of complications, and they can die from it. Red flag number six, vision changes along with a headache are something to take a important prompt attention to because this can be very serious just like the other red flags. Um, there's many different causes. You can see here a list of different causes. Uh, acute angle glaucoma, usually these individuals are going to have severe eye pain. Of course this is a medical emergency. All of these are actually a medical emergency. Um, eye stroke or ocular stroke, loss, a lot of times these individuals will have loss of vision in one eye. Optic neuritis, which basically is inflammation of the optic nerve. Um, sometimes these individuals will have pain with eye movement. Herpes zoster, um, you know, basically shingles of the eye. And these individuals may have an actual rash around the eye. And um, then of course, these last two, hypertensive crisis and elevated blood glucose, the most common thing that I tend to see with these two is that these individuals, they may have a headache, but they also may have blurred vision with these things. And these two things can lead to blindness. It's extremely important for individuals who are diabetic to get a yearly eye check. It's super, 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 super important. The final red flag that I want to talk to talk about today is a headache that's getting worse. It's intractable. It's not going away no matter what you're doing. Um, I do have a story. You won't have to check out the subdural hematoma video on our channel. My husband, he actually ended up having a subdural hematoma and he does tell his story. His headache was getting worse. Nothing was making it better. So I encourage you to check out that video. But definitely if there is a headache that is not going away, I encourage and urge these individuals to be seen as soon as possible, get imaging or whatever needs to be done. Um, a lot of times you may be seen by a neurologist, but if it's that severe, definitely going to the emergency room, uh, that is something that you may consider. Of course, this is not medical advice, but just remember this is something that needs to be checked out promptly. Well, that's it for this video. There are many other red flags, but these are the main ones that I wanted to discuss for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets us know that you want us to make more of these videos. And also head on over to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell so you can get the latest videos. And also, we do appreciate your support. It means a lot to us. I can't tell you guys how much um, this motivates us and helps us to come up with great ideas and things to share. So if there's anything that you do have or you want us to do a video about, please comment below. I just want to end this video with a couple of words of encouragement. I think it's super important, especially if you're a student or someone who's just needing a little bit of a pick-me-up. Just remember, don't forget to believe in yourself. You can do this. You're going to get through this one way or the other. You're already here studying. That shows that you're motivated. That shows that you want to do better. You want to be better. And that's what's going to drive you to be the best medical professional out there. I definitely think the people that keep striving to do more, be more, are the ones that are the people who I want my family members to be taken care of by. So just remember, keep pushing through. You're going to do this. You're going to look back and you're going to see how strong you become through all of this. Believe in yourself. You can do this. I believe in you and I definitely wish you well and I hope that you come see more of these videos and also I'll start trying to add more motivational um, tips and information and little messages at the end of the videos as well. All right, guys. Have a good day.